Jones, armchair quarterback for Andrew Jones, presented by Jim Jones of Lincoln. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Joyce, East Kentucky Broadcasting Sports Director and football fan. Welcome to week two of Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Armchair Quarterback is a weekly high school and college football show spotlighting local high school and college football in the mountains. Tonight, we'll have a complete recap of last week's high school football from around the region, top individual performances, and there were some great ones, Fantastic finishes that you do not want to miss, and we'll have first in history and first in a long time. This edition of Armchair Quarterback will include highlights from East Ridge and Phelps, Belfry and Huntington, Pike Central and Valley, LCA and Pikeville, all in bowl action, and a Hail Mary win from Mingo Central. Johnson Central versus Capital West Virginia, Floyd Central's first home game, and Lawrence County at Prestonsburg. We've got a lot to get to. Here are a few notes from week two. From the football notebook, a few quick notes from week two. Belfry loses for the first time in Pike County Bowl since 2005. Big butt back down to earth, over 60 points. Just one score in the Bluegrass top 60. Hancock County over Webster County, 68 nothing. Scores week one over 60, there were seven. So scores normalized somewhat. Who says no one plays defense anymore? There were 14 shutouts in the Commonwealth and two West Virginia AA contenders meet in week one and it ends with a last second touchdown. First home win in school history, Floyd Central. First win in 17 tries, the Phelps Hornets. And each week we spotlight some top performers around the area. There were some tremendous individual efforts in week two the top six performers around the area. From the defensive side, Pike Central's Logan Dotson had 15 tackles. Belfry's Derek Wellman, 108 yards rushing, two touchdowns and 11 tackles. Phelps defensive back Brandon Turnmeyer, four interceptions. That's a record. Luke Jacobs of Knott Central ran for 212 yards and three scores. And Johnson Central's Blake Gamble had 156 all-purpose yards and three scores. Pike Central quarterback Seth Kahn, a huge night. 171 yards, three touchdowns rushing, nine tackles, and a pick six. Those are some big numbers and each deserving of a special shout out. We have eight sets of highlights to bring you tonight with scores. Here are some other scores from other games around the region. On the high school football scoreboard, Hazard 17-6 over Harlan County. Not Central defeated Sheldon Clark 34-0. Luke Jacobs with that huge game in that one. It was Lawrence County, 55-14 over McGoffin County. Noah West, four rushing touchdowns, 135 yards. Paintsville blank Tarlin, 37-0, while Twin Valley, Virginia defeated Jenkins, 54-0. The Wayne Pioneers knocked off Tulsa, 32-6. It was Bell County, 28-7, winners over Letcher Central. Dudley Hilton is back at Bell County, and the Bobcats are 2-0. Let's get this night rolling. We've got game highlights. First, the Jaguars of Floyd Central looking to Look add another first to the history the books. First home football game looking for their first home win in front of a packed house. On the five yard line, Dylan Cottle in the shotgun. He'll take it on a quarterback keeper straight up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. Again, the Jaguars in the red zone looking to score. Dalton Boyd takes the handoff, finds a hole and adds to the first quarter lead. Still in the first from midfield, Cottle drops back, rolls down and fires deep downfield. Caleb Hager is all alone and walks into the end zone. The Jaguars spend a lot of time in the red zone. Kobe Sloan comes in motion, takes the handoff, follows blockers into the end zone for another Jaguar touchdown. Looking to cap off a long drive, Preston Crace takes the handoff, makes a few defenders miss and He'll end the drive with a trip to the end zone. Floyd Central, 43, Betsy Lane, nothing. Seven different Jaguars scored. Next up, East Carter is at Betsy Lane. And on Thursday, Floyd Central is at Breathitt County on Friday. Stay tuned. Coming up, highlights from Belfry, Pikeville, Johnson Central, Prestonsburg, and the Community Trust Bank, WYMT Pike County Bowl. A Hail Mary finish. This week's Super 7 rankings 
the revamp schedule, and a whole lot more. It's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches, Pikeville Commons. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted, late hours, and open on Saturday, too. Howard Family Pharmacy. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. It's the high school football game of the week presented by Paul Howard Jr., attorney at law and the Golden Corral Restaurant in Pikeville. This week, the Hornets of McGoffin County travel to take on the East Ridge Warriors. The game of the week airs Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4 and 8.30 only on EKB TV. Welcome back. It's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. And did you know they deliver? Let's get right back to last week's highlights. The Phelps Hornets facing the East Ridge Warriors in both teams opener. The streak had lasted 16 consecutive bowls for the Phelps Hornets. 16 times the Hornets had played in the Community Trust Bank WYMT Pike County Bowl. 16 times a loss. The streak would end there last Friday night. The Hornets scored the first points of the game inside the red zone. Quarterback Garrett Clevenger found Seth Mayhorn all alone in the end zone. On the defensive side of the ball, Brandon Turnmeyer was everywhere. This interception, followed by a long return, was the first of his four picks in the game. On the goal line, Phelps looking to punch it in on fourth down, but a fumbled snap and a recovery forces the turnover on downs. Clevenger then in the shotgun takes the snap, can't find anyone, so he tucks and runs. There's Clevenger with a big game and a first down. The Hornets again looking to score. In the red zone, Peyton Rive takes the handoff. He'll break a tackle there, changes direction, and then outruns the defense to the corner of the end zone for another Phelps touchdown. Clevenger in the shotgun once again. He'll fire down the sideline. Kendrick Prater goes up between two defenders, comes down with a big time grab. A few plays later, Clevenger will be under center on the goal line. Takes a snap, pushes the pile, and that's a Phelps touchdown to add to the lead. Phelps wins it 32-8 over Eastridge. Brandon Turnmeyer had four interceptions. Next up, Phelps will be at Sheldon Clark Thursday. McGoffin County at Eastridge Thursday night as well. The defending Kentucky 4A state champions were hosting Capital out of West Virginia in one of the top matchups of the week. A full house in the stands in anticipation of this big matchup. Riley Priest under center gives the ball off to Joe Jackson. He shakes off a couple of tacklers, gets into open field, and picks up the first down and more on a big game. Priest back under center. He'll drop back this time. Finds a man deep, and Seth Dalton will haul it in. 
He burns his man, gets tackled into the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. Capital now with the ball, running back, takes the give. He finds a hole and gets the first down on a big run. Johnson Central will get the ball back near midfield. Priest drops back, but gets flushed out. He tucks it, gets to the sideline to pick up another first down and move the chains. Central on the goal line now. Blake Gamble gets the delayed handoff. He'll punch it in for one of his three touchdowns on the day. The Golden Eagles played well on both sides of the ball. Devin Johnson gets into the backfield here. And blows up the play for a big stop and a turnover on downs. The Eagles of Johnson Central coming back on offense. Priest rolls out, finds Gamble all alone. He makes the catch, works his way out of bounds, but a late hit will add 15 to the end of the play. Johnson Central defeats Capital 31-20 in both season opener. For Johnson Central, Blake Gamble had 156 all-purpose yards, three touchdowns. Next up, Johnson Central is in Henry Clay. That game will be played Thursday evening, just been changed. In a battle of Pike, Central, uh, Pike County rivals, Pike Central facing Shelby Valley. Many expected a great game of smash mouth, run it right at you football, and that proved true. Teams combined for just two pass attempts. The two teams meet at midfield to get things started as the captains greet one another. The Saturday edition of the Pike County Bowl. Pike Central hits stride right out of the gate. First play from scrimmage, that's Seth Kahn. He'll make Wildcat defenders miss and then it's off to the races. Nobody will catch Kahn. He scores the first points of the game and gives the Hawks the lead. Kahn does it all night for the Hawks. Early in this one, he takes the ball around the end for another big game. Hello, cheerleaders. That play sets up this run by Kahn. He gets a few blocks and down the sideline for six more. As the Hawks fans, they love their team. Lots of orange and blue in the house. Pike Central wins it 36-6. For Pike Central, Seth Kahn finished with 164 yards and two touchdowns. Seth Johnson had 104 yards rushing for Shelby Valley. Next up, Bell County is at Pike Central Thursday evening. Ridgeview, Virginia at Shelby Valley on Thursday. And the Pikeville Panthers were coming off a season opening win. This week's matchup against a much more experienced Lexington Christian team. LCA in Pikeville territory. Logan Neves takes the snap and hands off to Wade Drake to get the inside the 15 yard line. Then Neves takes the snap, rolls to his right. He'll fire the ball to Blaine Harden. Gets the Eagles inside the five. The Eagles now threatening to score. Neves fakes the handoff and he'll walk into the end zone untouched. Pikeville looking to answer Peyton Boyd Blair. Will look downfield, he'll find Jackson Hensley open over the middle and it's a race to the end zone that Hensley will win. Touchdown Panthers. Pikeville on the board, Logan Neves in the shotgun for LCA. He'll scan the field, finds Dylan Wheatley wide open. The big man rumbles downfield for a first down and more. Wheatley did it all night long. Again, Neves will drop back. He'll look over the defense. Steps out of the pocket and dumps it off to the big man Wheatley. He'll add to the big game that he had. We talked with Coach Chris McNamee about the loss and Pikeville's progress after the 49-21 defeat. We're gonna have, uh, we, you know, we're just gonna go, we're gonna go all five days this week and uh, next week we'll get back on a regular schedule. Uh, we have pains for the uh, next Friday. So uh, we know we have a tough task in, uh, in going down there and playing them. Um, but then you look down the road and you have uh, Belfry and Hazard right behind those two. So uh, we've got to take advantage of this week, uh, heal some guys up that might be a little dinged up, continue to try to get in better shape, and, uh, and, just, and just work on fundamentals is, is all we can do, really. Uh, that's, that's the thing I really like about our team right now is they, they work hard. Um, you know, we don't have any uh, superstars on the team. Everybody's just uh, wanting to step up and do their job to the best of their ability, and uh, I think that'll go a long way for us. Lexington Christian gets the win to improve to 2-0, 49-21 over the Panthers who fall to 1-1. For LCA, Dustin Wheatley had 171 yards and three touchdowns. Pikeville is open this week. 
Stay tuned. Coming up, we'll have highlights from Prestonsburg, a Hail Mary finish, this week's Super 7 rankings, the revamped schedule, and a whole lot more. It's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches by Bill Collins. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours and open on Saturday too. Howard Family Pharmacy. Eastern Kentucky, beautiful, green, peaceful, friendly. But there's a darker side to these mountains. When crime is committed, sometimes cases go unsolved. Occasionally, the perpetrators even get away with murder. On our latest news segment, The Scene of the Crime, I'll be working with local law enforcement to help find justice for victims and their families. The Scene of the Crime, Fridays during the EKB News at 6 and 10, starting August 25th. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches and by Joe Commons. We continue our look back at last week's high school football. We take you to Belfry's KM Stadium where the Pirates were hosting the Highlanders of Huntington High. It was a full house at KM Stadium as the Pirates take the field for the final game of Friday night at the 2017 Pike County Bowl. The Pirates struck early in this one. From five yards out, quarterback Kevin Browning with the keeper and barrels his way into the end zone to take the early lead. Belfry looking to drive and extend the lead. Tavion Hunter will take the pitch, makes a move, finds the open hole, and no one will catch him. He takes it all the way for a 70-yard touchdown. But the Highlanders wouldn't be outdone. From 10 yards out, Jaden Hayes takes the ball right up the middle. will meet the Pirates defense, but pushes the pile into the end zone for the Huntington touchdown. The Pirate defense was top notch in the first half. Jaden Hayes takes the pitch, looks for room around the end, but a host of Pirates shut down the rugby attempt. Belfry back on offense, and the give goes to fullback Derek Weldon. The big guy picks up big yardage, carrying defenders on his back. Thought he had a touchdown, but stepped out of bounds for a 10 yard gain. But the Pirates take the loss at home. Huntington High, 45, Belfry, 34. First Belfry home loss since 2013. Belfry will be at Bryan Station Friday night, a game you'll hear on 93.1 WDHR. And the Prestonsburg Black Cats hosted the Jaguars of North Laurel at Josh Francis Field. Black Cats quarterback Drake Nunnery in the shotgun. He gives the ball off to Ethan Barney. Takes it up the middle for a hard fought 15 yard game. North Laurel now with the football, Cole McWhorter with the give to Jose Rodriguez. He goes right up the middle for the easy touchdown. Now North Laurel looking to score again. Matt Sizemore takes the ball, powers straight up the middle for another Jags touchdown. He follows with the two point conversion. Black Cats looking to get things going on the ground. Ryan Sloan 
takes back-to-back -back handoffs, but can't find any running lane. Jaguars shut down the Prestonsburg offense all night. North Laurel wins it 28-6 to improve to 2-0. Prestonsburg falls to 0-1. Jose Rodriguez for North Laurel had 119 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Next up, Lawrence County is at Prestonsburg Friday night. You'll hear it on ESPN East Kentucky, 95.9 and 104.5 FM. And ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna love this one. Everyone loves a good Hail Mary, right? Well, Mingo Central, the defending West Virginia AA state champion at Point Pleasant, who hadn't lost at home in 43 games. Mingo Central with the ball, down by four. 6.7 seconds remaining, ball at the 31 yard line. One last play, Miners quarterback Jeremy Dillon in the shotgun. To his left, sets his feet, slings it for the end zone. Touchdown, Miners. The place goes crazy. Mingo Central wins it on that last second play. Dillon to Dawson Eli with no time on the clock. That one, good enough to see again. Here's the replay. There's Dillon, West Virginia's Double A player of the year last year. He slings it, much like Aaron Rodgers, back to the end zone. Miners win it, and they go to 1 0 with a 36 34 win over Point Pleasant. Jeremy Dillon, 224 yards passing, four touchdowns. Next up, the Wayne Pioneers are at Mingo Central Friday night. Stay tuned, more armchair quarterback is coming up. This week's Super 7, the revamped schedule and a preview of the college football weekend, which starts tonight. It's armchair quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. I go comments. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Appalachian Wireless and the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting present the long, hot summer of cold, hard cash. And while summer is indeed winding down, you still have plenty of opportunity to win big. Money. 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 Register at your local Appalachian Wireless location every week. We'll give away $500 in cold hard cash every Friday till Labor Day. The more you enter, the more chances you have to win. No purchase necessary. All entries stay eligible for the $3,000 grand prize to be given away Friday, September 1st. You can also like and share our cold hard cash post on Facebook for a chance at the grand prize. Money, money, money. You may be just as lucky as last week's winner. My name's Ollie Rowe. I'm from Mealy, Kentucky, and I just won $500 from Appalachian Wireless. The long, hot summer of cold, hard cash. Exclusively on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting and Appalachian Wireless. I'm Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Thursday, We've got a look at the high school football schedule. Bell County is at Pike Central at 7 p.m. Hurricane West Virginia is at Paintsville at 7. East Carter at Betsy Lane, 7 p.m. start. Lyle Phelps travels to Sheldon Clark at 7.30. McGoffin County at East Ridge at 7.30 kickoff. And Ridgeview, Virginia at Shelby Valley at 7.30. Those are all Thursday games, games that have been changed from Friday to Thursday. On the Friday schedule, Belfry will be at Bryan Station. 
Nod Central goes to Perry Central. Letcher Central travels to Hazard. Lawrence County is at Prestonsburg and Johnson Central at Henry Clay, while Floyd Central travels to Breathitt County. One game moved from Friday night to Saturday afternoon, Morgan County at Jenkins, a 2 p.m. kickoff. And with two weeks complete in the high school football season, there's very little shakeup in the Sports Guys Super 7 rankings. The Super 7 is unique in that it includes teams regardless of class or state line. Simply the top seven teams power rankings in our coverage area. This week's rankings include teams from single A, triple A, and 4A in Kentucky and double A in West Virginia. Four teams that have won championships in the last two years. The Sports Guys Super 7 rankings for the week at number seven, Pike Central. Pikeville sixth, Paintsville at number five, Hazard at number four, a tie at number two, Mingo Central and Belfry, and the Johnson Central Golden Eagles, the number one team in the Sports Guys Super 7. Last week, the University of Pikeville Bears fell to Campbellsville on the road in their season opener 28-14. U-Pike is on the road again tonight at NCAA Division II, Carson Newman University. We caught up with head coach Al Holland Jr. for a scouting report on Carson Newman. Uh, you're going to have a big physical football team. It's, it's going to try to run the football at, right at us, and defensively they're going to get after us. Uh, they're going to be big and physical up front. Uh, we got to be heady at quarterback and getting us in the right plays offensively, and uh, defensively we just got to be smart and play our assignment and play assignment football. And if we do that, I feel like we got a, a shot to have an opportunity to get a win. I've been very proud of our guys. You know, Saturday was their off day and had guys in the facility uh, throwing the ball around and uh, getting extra work, individual work. So, you know, they're, they're hungry to get back after it. And, uh, you know, proud of the leaders on this football team. We've got a great week of practice. Campbellsville 28-14 last week. u -Pike at Carson Newman this evening. A 7 p.m. kickoff in Jefferson City. Coverage at 645 on Z1075. With u -Pike kicking off the college football weekend, it's the first full weekend for area favorites as well as major college. UK is at Southern Miss Saturday. It's 4 p.m. kick, coverage at 2 p.m. on WDHR. Miami, Ohio at Marshall Saturday at 6.30, coverage at 5.30 on ESPN Radio. The Louisville Cardinals will be facing the Purdue Boilermakers in Indianapolis Sunday at 7.30 and a couple of more local favorites, WVU and Virginia Tech. FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland Sunday at 7.30. Wow, week two is in the books and week three is upon us already. With the schedule changes, week three of the Kentucky season begins tonight and it's the first full weekend of the college football season. We look forward to a great weekend of football and bringing you the recap next week on Armchair Quarterback. It's presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Armchair Quarterback with Andrew Joyce presented by Jimmy John's of Pikeville.